build. We built, we built, we built, we built, we built an augmented, augmented, reality, augmented, reality, augmented, reality, augmented, reality, reality, augmented, reality, reality, augmented reality sandbox. Just your average sandbox. <laughs> It's an Xbox Kinect camera that is facing down at the sandbox. And if you were to manipulate the sand with your hands or with tools, the Xbox can detect that depth and it sends that message to the computer that we built and then sends it back out to the projector. The projector that we were able to commandeer from the principal's office to project a live topographic map onto the sand. And right from the start, we sort of started planning. That was the first stage. I personally felt that time was against us. We had about a month and a half or so. And we spent a lot of time just designing and designing and designing and designing and designing. We went through a number of designs for our mount. We did a lot of designing and planning. Eventually, the finished product wasn't even one of the designs we had started with. So pretty cool to see the evolution of design. The next big stage was building the computer, and that was really fun. We were kind of focused on getting the computer together, finding all the necessary parts. I felt like it was a really good opportunity because it gave me that chance to really experience what building a computer is like because I'd never done it before. We had to find the right projector, make sure the angle was correct, make sure that the projector didn't hit any walls. We had to make sure that the projector actually projected on the back of the sand when you had a mountain. So we had to kind of uh, manage all these things while keeping it relatively easy to build. Another one of the bigger stages was um, actually getting the software to work, downloading uh, Linux, making sure everything worked properly. We had an Xbox One Connect. First we had to find out what type of adapter we had to use. Then we bought the adapter, then figured out it doesn't work on that computer. So we, then we got an Xbox 360 Connect then realized we also need an adapter for that one. We bought the adapter, we needed more power through it, so we had to buy a PCIe USB 3 card, and then it finally worked. After we had got the computer built, we moved into designing the actual sand table, so more the engineering part of the project. Building the sandbox was pretty fun because we actually got into, to go into the scene shop, which I had never actually been in there that much, and actually getting to use the tools in there was pretty fun. I surprisingly remember how to use a wood saw. It was pretty exciting uh, to see a design um, that actually turns into a finished product. And it wound up that we were able to get it finished in uh, about a month and a half. It fit together pretty well at the very end. It was really exciting going to Harbor and then presenting something that we built together as a team. Once we showed up there and we got that thing running, it was just mind-blowing because I actually hadn't seen it in operation beforehand because we had finished it at 3 o'clock the day before. That was pretty exciting. Um, I had a lot of fun there. It was very gratifying to see people's reactions. It was just such an amazing experience. It exceeded my expectations. We were able to come together, create this amazing thing and you know hundreds of people coming over to us and saying oh my god this is you know never seen something like this or oh my god is that actually real water when you know it's just augmented. People seemed to really enjoy what we had built. Um, I did too. Welcome everybody to the classrooms of the future. We built a sandbox, a physical sandbox, by utilizing augmented reality open source technology from UC Davis we've done more than that. We've built a tool for geography teachers to show real-time changes in topography and changes in erosion. I was uh, the speaker for and representative for our group um, in the Ignite sessions. And the Ignite sessions is basically a sales pitch to get people to come over to your booth. It was more so just the level of expectation that, you know, if I mess up here, it could negatively impact my group. Here, you see the first generation of what will hopefully be many more to come from Andover High. Thank you. It was really exciting seeing people come over and have fun playing in the sandbox, coming over over and over just to see it and play and manipulate what we had built. It was really cool that we could just make a plan 
and uh, have it fail in several ways because of issues, and then still manage to continue working on the project and actually make it a success. I think it was cool because it really kind of just combined the various disciplines and our strengths. I enjoyed working with everybody. I thought we worked awesome together. Um, we were able to, you know, create this really cool piece of technology in such a short amount of time. We worked well as a team. We learned a lot. We got to experience new things that some, some people here haven't. Working with other people, getting their opinions, seeing their viewpoint, um, not only does it make the process easier, but it just makes it more enjoyable, in my opinion. When we came together on this project, it really took everyone's know-how when it came to computers, when it came to actual physical engineering. And so it was probably one of the most enjoyable experiences uh, doing a project in my high school career. And it was a pretty good success. I hope we can do more in the coming years. Walking in this semester, I had no idea that I would be building an augmented reality sandbox, something that I hadn't even heard of a month and a half ago like everyone else. I can take away the pride that I actually built a augmented reality sandbox, which is one of the few in the United States. I did run the right command, yes. yes. So proud of you, Taha. Seeing so many people with different skills come together to have a common cause is, uh, I think it's something really special. It really goes to show what an incredible group of people can do when they come together and head for a common goal. If you work hard, you keep your mind at it, you can do it. When it comes down to it, you give us a month and we'll show you something amazing.